welcome everyone back to the channel for another episode remember to like share and subscribe share with your classmates as well because i believe that this is valuable information so today's video is going to be some tips about answering multiple choice items for csec in the caribbean for the 2020 sitting it's going to be the sba coupled with paper one so no paper two will be done only paper one so i've done some research and i've gone ahead and i've put something something together that can give you guys some tips on answering multiple choice items good the first tip in answering multiple choice items is ensure that you read the question before looking at the answers you might be asking why is this important this is important because sometimes you can glance over the answers and when you read the question you automatically put something in your head which might not necessarily be correct so read through the entire question first then you make the answer in your head then you look at the answers a to d right that will give you a better chance of actually getting the correct answer because remember that multiple choice items are there to check your knowledge and also skills we'll soon get further into that so it's best to actually read the question in its entirety first then you answer in your head then the final step is to look at the answers before actually selecting that answer all right good so if you are upon a question practically that you are not sure of but even though you might have sometimes you might have an idea but you're not so hundred percent sure and even if you are a hundred percent sure you should still use this next step this next step is the process of elimination because in multiple choice there's always an answer that has nothing to do with the question it is sometimes called a distractor so we must use the process of elimination to eliminate that distractor right great so for example for social studies because I'm a teacher of social studies so for social studies a question let me read this question it says that the process by which a child learns how to behave is known as one more time the process by which a child learns how to behave behave is known as a cooperation b indoctrination c personalization or d socialization the question one more time the process by which a child learns how to behave is known as a cooperation b indoctrination c personalization or d socialization remember now that we are using the process of elimination all right so process by which a child child learns how to behave and so we have cooperation cooperation indoctrination personalization and socialization we're using the process of elimination so we're going to get rid of the suggested answer that is totally incorrect that has nothing to do with the question asked so the answer that has nothing to do with it is personalization personalization has absolutely nothing to do with how a child learns how to behave personalization totally out all right so we are left with three answers now right with multiple choice also while we are eliminating we must try and select the best possible answers many times with multiple choice items more than one answer might seem correct but the aim or your aim as the student or the test or exam taker is to select the best possible answers many times some answers might seem rational or logical but they are not correct because many times in multiple choice items they will include the the most popular wrong answer or some logical answers that are not correct so we are down to three process by which a child learns how to be, behave we are left with cooperation indoctrination and socialization 
Okay, so since we are down to three, we are going to select the best possible answer out of the three. So we are down to cooperation, indoctrination, and socialization. So socialization is actually talking and learning. Indoctrination is also learning as well. Cooperation can also be eliminated because you're working with somebody for a greater good. So we are down to indoctrination and socialization. Remember we're saying um, that we can have some logical answers but they might not be necessarily correct. With this question, we are down to two. Indoctrination and socialization. The answer here is socialization because socialization, we know, is the process by which you learn how to function or how to behave as an individual within a family and in society as well however indoctrination is also logical because with indoctrination you are taught a particular set of ways actions or beliefs so indoctrination is logical but it is not correct so the correct answer is socialization so at multiple choice items you have to be extremely careful right now whenever you are answering a multiple choice item after you have read the question in its entirety even if you automatically or ultimately or readily realize what the answer is it's always best to go through all the suggested answers because remember something might be logical but it might not be correct because the aim is to select the best possible answers because we don't want you to make an error and then you get the answer wrong because with multiple choice items you know remember that you're either right or wrong there's no middle ground there's no two ways to it it's either you are correct or you are incorrect right so we have to be extremely careful right with multiple choice items also answer the questions that you know answer those first remember that you get I think it's one and a half hours to actually answer the multiple choice items. I would say try as best as possible to complete the multiple choice items in 60 minutes. One of my colleagues, Miss Johnson, she said that um, it is good to like answer each question within a minute. Right? Say so take 60 minutes. To go through all the questions answer what you can and then take the additional 30 minutes to review to ensure that you were correct with all your responses good so try as best as possible to answer the questions that you know first because it saves time if you meet upon a difficult question you can move past it and move on and go on to another question so that you don't spend five ten minutes on one question because that would be wasting time and you might run out of time before you actually complete the exam right so go through the answers that you know first it is always important to review after you have finished so after you have completed all 60 questions and you answer everything even if even if you are confident in yourself that you are totally correct it's always good to review because sometimes we make errors i will soon come down to that especially if a question asks you to if a question includes words like most not sometimes always never or accept good always pay attention to those things or if a question asks you to study a diagram or look at a picture or read some results like for social studies you might get certain diagrams certain pictures certain election results to actually look into statistics for birth rate death rate natural increase those kind of things calculating population density and so forth we have to pay close attention to those thing so we don't miss certain details if a question ask includes always or never it means that your answers must be irrefutable right so there must be no middle ground the answer must be absolute so you have to be careful if a question says that you must all of the following are types of family except so you get nuclear family you get the reorganized family, you get single parent family, and you get house family. So the question says, all of the following are types of family except. 
So we have to be careful with that, you know, I don't because you see all in your family you're just a circle nuclear family or reorganized family. No, the question is simply asking you. You have to look at it and interpret it to to to, to say what the question is asking you exactly. So a question like that is saying tell which one is not a type of family you know because it says all of the following are families are types of families except so it's basically saying which one of these out of the four that are listed which one is not a type of family so we have to be careful with questions like that all right i'm trying to find a question with the one of the words in it this question says which of the following should be the most important considerations for young couple thinking about becoming parents for the first time again which of the following should be the most important considerations for a young couple for a young couple thinking about becoming parents for the first time which one is most important you know so if we're reading this question right and we analyze it we realize that before even looking at the answers all the possible suggestions that they are going to give can be considered by a young couple be, be, be becoming parents for the first time so now the responses are what to consider when becoming parents their ethnicity right meaning the race that they're from their economic stability if them can have enough funds to actually take care of themselves and the child and stability of their relationship if them think the relationship are gonna last long because the child really needs both parents right so listen again ethnicity economic stability stability of their relationship all of these can be considered in starting a family but remember that the question says what is most important so because we're looking for most important highly unlikely that all of them is going to be most important so you have to look though they they all might be important we're looking for most good so their ethnicity their economic stability stability of their relationship so think now we're doing the process of elimination because we get three possible answers you know right so we're eliminating the ones that are not most important so I'm giving you three seconds to think which one would we eliminate because the answers, the answer that you're going to select is going to be a combination of two, right? So we need a pair for the answer. So you're going to select two out of these three, their ethnicity, their economic stability, stabil stability of their relationship. So two is going to be the answer. So we need to eliminate one. So out of ethnicity, economic stability, or the stability of the relationship, which one would you eliminate? Three seconds. Correct. So if you have decided to eliminate their ethnicity as not being most important, then you would have been correct. Congratulations for that. So the most important things to consider when starting a family would be economic stability and the stability of their relationship. So you are doing very well so far. So it sounds like you are on your way to getting the grade one. Good. So now, let's review. In doing multiple choice items, ensure that you read the questions. Read the questions in its entirety before looking at the answer. After you have read the question in entirety, think about the answer in your mind. Then you go through all the possible answers and select the most appropriate answer or the best suitable answer. Pay attention to words like most, always, except, not good don't waste any time if you don't understand a question move on to something else whenever you have completed all the all the, the answers or answered all the questions that you know go back to the questions that you might not have known right if you meet upon a question that you are not sure about do not leave it blank students tend to make this mistake all the time remember with multiple choice items you have a 25 percent chance of getting the answer correct so if you don't know you don't first certain you don't know the answer make an educated guess so use the process of elimination and eliminate the answers that are totally incorrect and they don't have anything to do with the question eliminate those ants those possible answers right and then make an educated guess so you are down to three you have a 70 you, sorry if you are down to three right then you have a greater percentage of getting it correct if you are down to two 
you have a 50% chance there, so you know, probably a 75% chance there, so of getting it correct, right? If you are down to one, then you automatically get the answer, right? Don't cuss me about my maths because my maths is not so 100, right? I'm a teacher of social studies and history, all right? So remember, do your best. Use the process of elimination, read the questions in its entirety, look over the answers, don't waste any time, skip from a question that might be too difficult, return to it later, ensure that you answer all of the questions. Right, ladies and gentlemen? Alright, so if you have any questions or concerns, please leave those in the comment section. Thank you for watching and have a good study period before the exams.